Hey, Pete here from Divi Engine. This is a quick video for everybody who uses body commerce. Uh, there's an awesome new update from Divi with some new WooCommerce modules. So this is a video just to run through a few of our thoughts and, and where we're going to go. So they've added new modules, which is good. Uh, I'm all for, we are all for Divi adding new WooCommerce modules. I think this is a way forward, uh, to, to go. Um, and, then body commerce, body commerce doesn't become void because it does so much more than just literally pages like carts and checkout. So from what we understand, they've only added some carts and checkout modules, which body commerce already has, and we also extend those modules further as well. So you can use either modules; uh, it's not going to be a problem. We've seen uh, two things I want to point out. The, the only issue we've seen is that if you are using the theme builder checkout with the with the new WooCommerce modules and our custom checkout, it can cause issues. So I just want to show you that if you are using this custom checkout, make sure that you are only using our settings and you are not then also building a checkout page over here. If you build a checkout page in the theme builder, make sure you disable our settings. Uh, it's kind of kind of how it goes. You either have um, use owl, owls or that or the theme builder. It's kind of you can't really have two because they'll conflict. So logically, that's how it goes. That's the only issue we've seen. But there's a really cool update that they've added, which is the folder option for the modules. And I think you're all gonna love this because we love it is now we can put all our modules into one folder so it's more organized so I'm just going to quickly show you how we've done it so if you open up here now forget these two that's for TV form builder if you scroll down there you'll see a new folder saying TV body commerce click in there and you'll see all the modules in there so it neatens up everything really and uh, eventually we're going to remove all these dots from the beginning of the names. The reason why we had the dots were to try, because if we had like all the different names, they would be cluttered all over the place. There was no way that Divi allowed us to organize it all in one, one place. We wanted all our modules together so that you can see all the count modules, for example. Then you can see all the archive page modules. Then you can see all the checkout page modules. Uh, now, because it's all in one place, we can remove these dots, but they're still organized into like sections. So, cart page modules, global modules, loop layout modules, login, loop layout, all product and uh, product page modules. So, they're all kind of thank you page modules. So, you can see we still got tons. Um, but yes. And anybody who does know body commerce, there's still so much more that we do. So I think it's going to work well together. Um, yeah, so that's it really. So that's the video. I just wanted to quickly show you that uh, the new folder that we're going to be released, well, the new modules in the folder are going to be on the next update of body commerce. And we'll do the same for Divi Machine, uh, Divi Form Builder, Divi Ajax Filters all the other modules that we have, all the other plugins, Divi Mega Menu, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, and uh, if you are watching this video and you don't know, we have a sale on at the moment, so it's Black Friday, 30% off. Get going, you get some free bundles as well, and make sure you also follow our blog, because we've got a really cool uh, tutorial on how you can clone any kind of online store with Divi, so we're looking at the Abercrombie Finch website and replicating that as much as we can in the Divi builder without body commerce. This is just the Divi using Divi. Uh, obviously, it has its limitations that Divi doesn't have mini cart, for example. So, I think at one point we'll then show you how you can then use body commerce to make it even better and look more like the website. But I think it's really in depth, and Roby's done a great job on it. So, check it out. Okay, so yeah, thanks guys and girls and uh, guys and girls. So yeah, thanks so much and yeah, I hope this I hope you I hope this is clear and I'm really looking forward to the you know pushing this release to neaten up the the module section 
in the Divi builder. I think that's a great update. So have a great day and speak to you soon.